Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dental Dork. My name is Chrissy and I'm a registered dental hygienist. Talking about splint therapy in my phase one treatment. Let's talk about what the purpose of a splint is. Okay, so when somebody has TMD, typically the joint of that jaw is not in the correct place. So what a splint does is put something in between your teeth that allows your condyle to be repositioned into a better place. So instead of functioning here, it is now functioning here. This is a very simplified explanation. Prior to getting this appliance, I went through a series of data collection. This includes impressions that were made of my mouth to create molds, tons of photos were taken, my doctor completed a comprehensive intraoral exam where observations were made and notated, and lastly, radiographs. A CBCT, also known as a cone beam CT scan, was taken. After all of this data was collected, it was sent off to, I think, be evaluated and collaborated with five different dental professionals, and they created a treatment plan for me. About four weeks later or so, I finally had a game plan. At that point, I was able to send off my impressions to the lab for them to create a splint for me based upon very specific measurements that these doctors have come up with for the proper placement of my condyle. A few weeks later, I finally got the splint that I would be wearing 24 seven for the next approximate six months. Here's a video of the very last time that I bit all of my natural teeth together, followed by my new bite in the splint. I want to explain how the splint works a little bit further. With my normal bite, my condyle, the ball of the jaw joint, was further back in the joint than it should be. And the way that my teeth came together when it was in this position is like this. My bottom teeth are right behind my top teeth. This allows my molars to chew properly. Now when we put a splint in the mouth, it allows the condyle to go to the place that it should be, which is about here. However, what that does is it moves the jaw forward no longer allowing the teeth to come together like this. The jaw is forward, so they have to come like this. But since the front teeth are like this, the back teeth are no longer able to come together. That's where the splint is filling that space. Again, I hope that this is making sense. The first week I had my splint, it has wings on it, which prevented me from chewing and moving my jaw side to side. The splint wanted to be sure that I knew exactly where to go, so I was only allowed to move up and down or open and close. Thankfully, after about a week, those wings are drilled down so that they're nice and smooth and I can move side to side again. All right, let me talk about discomforts. When I first got my splint, it was lisp galore. I had a very difficult time pronouncing any words. I had to practice speaking. Not only that, it was uncomfortable to eat. I would bite my tongue, I would bite my cheek. It was a challenge to learn how to wear. But after about a week or so, I got used to it. I figured out how to talk. I was really the only one that knew that I was lisping where others couldn't really pick up on it. So I ended up having my splint for a total of four to five months or so. And during that time frame, I had periodic adjustments. The adjustments were used to really help dial in exactly the position of my bite. But sometimes it was like peeling an onion. Different symptoms would arise after adjustments. I might have headaches after one. I might have more jaw joint pain after another. But after a couple of days, it was settled down and I would feel better than I did before the adjustment. It wasn't until I was stable for a good period of time before I even considered moving to phase two. By the end of phase one, I loved my splint. It was so comfortable. I literally could have worn that the rest of my life. But realistically, I didn't want to do that. I think one of the biggest contributing factors to me being able to get through phase one so quickly was the fact that I literally wore my splint 24 seven. I ate with it every single meal and I made sure I was chewing hard things when I could. I feel like this really exercised the condyle in the new position that it was at. All right, guys, I hope you were able to understand the purpose of phase one and what it was like for me. I look forward to posting about phase two and continuing to share my story, guys. Thanks for listening and have a great day.